The box plot is always a little confusing, so let me take you through that. I'm going to need a couple numbers. I'm going to need the minimum for this data. So let me go get the minimum. Minimum is 1.75 ounces. The smallest bag of M&M is 1.7 ounces. And I'm going to need the maximum. Largest bag of M&M's was 2.13. I'll need to keep those numbers in mind. And then I'm going to select this data from A1 all the way down to A39. So I've selected the, the data from A1 to A39. That may take some practice with your finger. And now I'm going to long press it and copy it. Uh, I've long pressed and copied that data. And now I'll be switching over to the bank the chem grid site here. All right, let me see if I can pull that up here. Might take a minute. And I'm going to go to data upload. Shrink this back a bit. I want to paste the data. I'll long click this box and I'll paste the data in. And I set it to tab because spreadsheets bring data in tab separated. With a single column, it won't matter much. But down here, I can now check to see that it looks right. And there they are, all 38 data points with the label. You always have to bring the label in with it. And now I'll just come down to, um, hold on, go back there and paste that back in, tab. And down here, I meant to click here, Data Visualization. And there's my box plot, but it's a little difficult to see. And this is where the minimum and maximum come in. Scroll back up, and here under Y-axis range, I'm going to put in 1.75, the minimum, comma, the maximum, 2.13. And I'll just click out of that box anywhere. And the box plot will have changed. I can now see the box plot a bit more clearly than I could before. And this down here, this place here, that's the first quartile, uh, sorry, the zero quartile, that's the minimum, 1.75 ounces. This is the first quartile, Q1. Q1 is right here. This is the median, this is Q3, and Q4 is up here, the maximum. That's the fourth quartile. The the reason there are two dots up there is because this lower dot right here is more than 1.5 this distance, the interquartile range. The interquartile range. Let's make that another color. That's the interquartile range right there. And that, is, that lower dot is more than 1.5 times that distance away from the third quartile. The third quartile being right here. That's the third quartile. So it's the distance from the third quartile. You can have low outliers. Low outliers are when something is too far away from the first quartile down here, down this direction. If it's more than 1.5 times as far away, then there'll be a lower outlier. What this means is that those two bags of M&Ms, that's what those are up there, were overfilled. They were filled unusually uh, heavily, too many M&Ms, and uh, the machinery is probably designed to try to prevent that from happening, either too low or too high, it would be problems for the manufacturer. So that's a, a bit of a look at uh, using the box bottle. You do not have to make a, uh, a screenshot and copy and paste it back for the homework in the course. You don't need to do that. Uh, but the box plot can tell us where the data is. Is it symmetric? If the box plot has whiskers that are the same length, then remember the whiskers are, this is the lower whisker, this is the upper whisker, uh, um, and this is called a fence, and that's lower fence and upper fence. If, if they're symmetric in length, and if the box is symmetric around the median, then you've got data that's roughly symmetrically distributed. But if one of the fences is long and one is short and the box itself is off to one side, then your data is probably not symmetrically distributed. It's asymmetric. 
it, it's lopsided, if you will, and that has important implications in the world of statistics.